Beaver, away! Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Chris Cast. As we're halfway through the season now, hopefully we'll have some more nail-biting action from Season 17 of ETF to Wells Premiership Highlander Division. We've already had a couple of match days already, and the, the spaces are kind of heating up to try and get into playoffs. Uh, with some surprises already, despite only being a couple of matches in. We have three matches being played in the top tier tonight. First off, we have Fela up against Kitty. Fela currently top spot of the table, Kitty in third. The other match is Torpedo versus Tourette's French Club. Both teams only on the single point. They played against each other in the preseason playoffs. And I'll be desperate to try and avoid those relegation places and maybe even push for a playoff spot. But the match we are covering here tonight is going to be Envision versus SDCK. The former champions against a team that has been doing pretty well so far. Unbeaten in second place. And uh, maybe looking this time not to get relegated and maybe aim for the top three. I'm CJ. I'm joined tonight by the wonderful Chando and the amazing V-Hooft. Chando... It's been a pretty interesting season so far, right? Yeah, definitely. Um, it's been not exactly what I've expected, uh, and I'm really excited to see STCK uh, coming back um, in the Highlander game modes. Um, they're not off to the best start, though, really. Um, currently going uh, one win, one loss. Uh, so it's going to be so important for, for them to get this match right. Um, they really want to be aiming for that playoff spot. I'm pretty sure that they were predicted to uh, be in the finals. And this is going to be a really, really um, important game for them. So, and likewise, Envision as well have been seeded quite highly. Um, from what I can see, their roster is looking pretty good. Um, and I could definitely see them in the top three as well. So, both teams have got a lot to play for today, and we're basically the middle of this season. Um, and yeah, there's so much to play for for both these teams. Definitely. I mean, you know, at the start of the season with, you know, as we get that, that kind of a lull where some teams fold, some teams come back. Failure stayed around. Runners up past three seasons. A lot of people thought, OK, they're the favourites. Um, you know, they've got the experience with strong opinions no longer around. Uh, then Super Dickmans were like, OK, we're back and we're going to be challenging as well. So many people thought, OK, maybe those guys are going to be the favourites. But like you said, dropping points already. And this could be a crucial, crucial match for them, especially on a map that is so often a coin flip, depending on, you know, whether you manage to hold the B point or not. If you get one of those AE rushes going on, who knows what could happen? I'm going to take a look at the rosters quickly, as I do think we've got 9v9 in the server almost. And it looks like we've got a few merch here tonight for both teams so i'm going to start with um i'm going to try and go through the uh the stck roster or would you want to do you want to take that one chando and i can try to piece apart the envision one oh I'll, uh, I'll try the stck um not 100 percent on what their lineup's going to be but uh we'll do our best here so i think we are going to be seeing uh toast uh, on Scout maybe maybe spy. Uh, it's Credu's going to be on scout. Credu on scout, right? Um, soldier will be. Oh god, you really put me on the spot here. Like, uh, I tell you what, I'll tell you what. I'm gonna I'm gonna rinse through them since I. Uh, you do it. I've got some inside info from some of my boys. Okay, because they're you the ones it. who are merking. So yeah, we're gonna have uh, Jackie on soldier. Yahoo returns on pyro. He was missing in that week two game for uh, against Kitty. Demo is still going to be Noz. Heavy is Sandburn. Um, Engineer is, of course, Clark. Medic is Sprayer. Sniper is Juicos, which I believe is uh, Burn by any other name. And on Spy is going to be Viljack, who is murking tonight for uh, SCCK. So obviously going back to his Spy roots after playing Scout for the past couple of seasons, or at least last season anyway. Um, and then on to the, uh, the Envision roster. They're going to be slightly different. And again, some Merc. So Toast, again, probably more well-known for his spy, is also a very good scout. And he's going to be Merking Scout for Envision. Soldier, ugh. Soldier, I believe, is going to be perhaps Menti. I think that's right, yeah. Yeah. So I'm guessing Menti is going to be Merking for them tonight. I don't think he is a, an actual main for them. Pyro will be Ronnie J or not. Maybe, I'm not sure, actually. Maybe the pirate is the person who's missing from the server. But Demo is more than likely going to be Detoed, who, you know, he's just... He, I think his team's in the, the, the Div 2 final, maybe, for sixes, or 
he's, his team did pretty well in sixes. Very good at many, many classes. So I'm guessing he's going to be playing demo, but he could be playing pretty much anything on the server. Ronnie J, I assume, is going to be playing heavy then. Uh, we've got Stinghan on the server. The manager himself will most likely be playing spy. Faint is probably going to be playing... Uh, no, sorry, Sting and Sniper. Faint, spy, the uh, the American. Nip Nop on engineer. And it looks like Resic, who I do believe is Res, the pyro, um, is going to be joining the server, and that'll be their final final lineup. So a bit of a mismatch of uh, some sort of mercs here and there. But coming into this, Chando, you, you, you did say it's been a bit of a mixed bag for SCCK results-wise. And Envision, you know, they haven't won any of their games cleanly, but they've won all their first two games. Who do you think is coming into this with more confidence? Do you think SCCK are going to be like, okay, it's cool. We got Yahoo back. We got Credu in the game. You know, it's all good. We got Sprayer in the server as well. Or do you think Envision are going to be like, you know what? This is a map we could win. We, we should be winning this. Well, I think it's it's going to be a real tough one for either team. Um, as you said earlier, Steel is just one of those maps where one mistake can change everything. And there is so much pressure on pit classes to find those drops on the medic. Likewise, there's a hell of a lot of pressure on the uh, each medic there to um, you know keep his keep his players alive and not to make any um, tactical blunders. Um, so really it's hard to tell which way this is going to go both teams have not gone off to the best start uh, however considering the roster of stck and just the absolute powerhouse that they were in previous seasons uh, um, i'm going to put my money on them um they've just got s I'm, I'm guessing they're going to retain some of that synergy that they've had before that's not to say, however, that Envision um, aren't going to hold some of their energy either. You know, they've they've played together for a long time with more or less a similar roster. However, with those few mercs that they're using, um, it might be a little bit harder. So I think we could be seeing this one go to STCK, maybe in a golden cap. We might be able to see Envision take some points away as well, which uh, would be very good for them uh, at this current um, time in the season. Absolutely. I mean, I think... If it goes to a golden cap, I think I think Envision will take a round from this. I think, like, if they, if you were to say to them, hey, we'll give you two points, are you going to take it? They would take it. And I don't mean that in any... Uh, I, 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 I don't mean that in any disrespect to Envision. I just think that, given their results so far, they've beaten Kitty, they've beaten um, Chess Club, and if they were to get points from, you know, arguably the favourites for the season, they'd probably be like, hey, that's fine. We can go into the next two games knowing as long as we get points, we've got a great chance of getting into the playoffs. Whereas STCK, I think they won't be happy unless it's a, a clean, crisp 6-0 here because, you know, they've already lost six points. That's quite big. And, you know, getting into playoffs, maybe they're not worrying about not getting into playoffs. That's probably not a worry for them at all. But they're probably going to be worried a little bit about trying to get that top spot. They still have to play Fela. And if they were to lose to Fela, then that almost guarantees them not getting that first seed, which comes down to map decisions later on in the season. So there's a lot of play here. So I would say the pressure is definitely on SCCK. Um, this, this is one of their better maps. I know how good Jackie Legs and Yahoo are on this map. Um, you know, they, they have... They're the key players. And Noz is also a very good demo who has a lot of experience in this map as well. So I think they have the players in the positions to to actually seal this out. But there's always that risk, isn't there? There's always that, that kind of lurking thought in your head. What if something goes wrong? What if someone gets in and, and gets a cheeky drop? But I mean, who's going to need to step up, do you think, for Envision to, uh, to try, and, try and get the win for them here? Well, I'd really like to see uh, Stingen pull something out of his hat there. He has been the famous manager of this team for so long, and I'm very happy to see him playing um, in the in the actual team for once. Uh, so uh, hopefully he's been uh, practicing while managing um, his team, and he is going to pull stuff out of the hat because, I mean, Burn, brilliant sniper in his day. Um, I hope he's not feeling the rust too much. I think he had a bit of a hard time uh, in the last week, I believe it was. Uh, I can't remember exactly who he was up against sniper-wise, but uh, I, recall his, I, I recall he had a slightly tough time against him, so hopefully he uh, has shaken some of that rust off. But uh, if Stingen can, you know, uh, step up nicely, then uh, Envision could be well on their way to taking some points here. I mean, Stingen... You know, I'm gonna I'm gonna throw in a little anecdote. I guess you know I played against Stingen on this map last season, and uh, yeah, I think he dropped me like twice. So okay. you know he did this kind of cheeky strat where he was on a point and he just 
just jumped down, dropped down, and just went for a quick scope. Um, I say a quick scope. He stood there and did a fully charged body shot before anyone realised. Um, but yeah, he has some he has some sneaky strats. So you know, I'm expecting them to be uh, to be ready, and I'm, I'm interested in this flank from Envision. This Toast Menti flank. I think Toast is got insane DM on Scout, and Menti is one of the best Highlander soldiers around at the moment. Over the past couple of seasons, when we've seen him playing actually on soldier he's done really well but the first pick of the game will go to Stinghan there watching on the defense um yahoo is going to clean up menti and Viljack is going to take down Stinghan there so that's actually some decent picks for SCCK, of course, we've got Envision on the defense here, and they'll be trying to hold on to this B point as best they can, but losing Soldier Heavy and Sniper, they pretty much have to give up B if they're not going to be careful here. The spawns have to come in and, and really have an impact, but great reflector! Nipnop goes down, the sentry's gone down to Yahoo, the Uber has been forced. This is looking awful for Envision, Chando. Not off to a good start at all. There is Dito gets picked off by Sam, but on the high ground, Tertio as well, the Medic, gonna get fragged. It's all up to Ronnie J now playing in that top spot. Uh, oh, it's the heavy weapons guy. He's taking a fat headshot. You might have to pack out here. And he is going to go down, in fact, along with Feint. And that was just perfectly executed by SCCK. They've still got that synergy there. And they are getting those picks. They're making a nice clean push in, fearless as they ever are. Yeah, I mean, often you see kind of a suicide wave on B and you hope to get a pick or hear something like that. But to get a sniper and get two great defensive picks, uh, and then just basically push in. They're just keeping going here. Jackie's in. Big Bomb takes down two. Demo and Medic are out of the game. Samba's going to come in and clean up the pyro. Yahoo is the only casualty here. Sprayer has 100% Uber in the bank. Another 10 seconds till Tercio is up. This could be a very, very fast round. Envision need to stop the rot here. They need to get some sort of defense somewhere and hold on to the D and E points because C is going down. SCCK are going to be moving on and they could just go straight onto E here. A huge advantage. Still no pyro, still no spot sniper. Like, this is so fast. Yeah, the ball is rolling big time now for SCCK. If they can keep this momentum going, they're going to have a brilliant first time in this first round in such an important game there. Burn is actually going to go down, and Sting is going to find that headshot onto the heavy weapons guy, Sam Burn, and Spray is going to go down as well. Dito with a 2k onto Cenos. Jackie Legs and Viljack, they finally started getting the frags, and they finally start establishing some defense and stopping that... A death ball that STCK had created from that B push there as Yahoo gets pistol down by Toast as well. Um, and now this is where they have an opportunity to start running the timer down a little bit. So they just need to calm down. They haven't had the best start, but they can really start to uh, hunker down and uh, they might have a shot at a decent time at this rate. You take a look right now, they're pushing for the T-Connector. They take down Nipmop Sentry very, very quickly. It's a really good hold here from Envision. They are holding the white room. They come out with the Uber onto Toast, get some decent damage out. Rez is also there, Dito's down there, Yahoo's gone down, so Sandburn. They have to try and get rid of this sentry in the connector. Rez is doing the best to try to shotgun it down, but can't do it. Bernie's watching the angle and takes down D2. That is a lot of spam damage out of the game right now. And with only Credu and Viljack out of the game so far for SCCK, they're just going to get on the point here. They have an advantage. Stingham with a couple of kills, takes on Burn and Sprayer. So that is a medic away from here. Um, Stingham gets another one onto Sandburn. He's starting to turn up, Chando. You said, could he do it? And he's doing it right now, but they're losing a lot of cap time. And perfect timing for a pause at this straight here because uh, <laughs> after all the action just went on, we need to try and make sense of what is going on here, CJ. So, I mean, D is about to go down i think envision were doing a real good job well i say envision i'm talking about sting and he was doing an insane job at locking down the e um pressure uh, again a clean 4k pretty much back to back there important picks as well um but they pretty much neglected d there errands they i guess we can say that they've got it uh, if we look at d here there's nip not there he's staring out the soldier, the enemy soldier, and the enemy pyro, but uh, it's all a little too late. He's not going to be able to stop that decapture. It's going to make things a lot harder for the respawners now on Envision. Uh, they're going to be locked off. They're not going to be able to have that free rotation to push out onto the E shutters. Uh, and that's Toast, Menti, Detoed, and Ronnie J that are all waiting for that for that respawn there. So they're going to be fracked a little bit. It's going to be very hard uh, for uh, Envision now to really reclaim this and i really feel that they could have put a little bit more pressure onto d they might have been able to prevent that yeah i mean apparently i've, I've been told that it's actually yahoo restarting so um it's nothing nothing major to worry about but 
the thing here and envision had a really good setup they had a decent hold going on they were holding the white room where you cover that a that a spawn area people can't come in through a the demo just traps it up you get spammed out there's no way so scck's only choice at that point is to try and bully their way through the bc connector which is where the sentry is right now you can see where snoz is as well and clark everyone's in there they had their entire team there and normally what you want with this kind of hold is you want your flank that's your soldier your scout maybe even your spy if he's going for a little bit of more dm with the revolver or something like that to be holding that bc connector watching what's called the c side of the of the map and that way you get an early call on when something is coming through that connector so they don't get any free room but nobody called that obviously they were able to come in and take down the sentry for free so nip Nop, who had this level three he was desperately trying to wrangle it, it didn't have any effect whatsoever because nobody was supporting from that side of the map you need to have somebody there not contesting you can't contest an entire team with heels but at least you know have some eyesight get some calls as we do have the unpause now clark takes down stinger and burn gets a headshot onto res so the d point has been capped by jackie Licks and yahoo and it looks like it's all going to be up to the e point now a lot of people dead for envision they're going to do the best that they can but there's a lot of time going down credit just standing on that point not really contested either some decent damage coming in from Menti and Detoed, and they're trying to get some stuff. Nice headshot there by Burn, who's on the spawn door basically, just trying to hold this white room by himself. Sandburn's there for a little bit of company right now, and I think SCCK are going to rattle this out in a pretty decent time. Spray has gone down, and the Uber comes out though, used onto Ronnie J. And uh, actually, there seems to be holding this a little bit. Viljack with the backstab onto the heavy, but I think they may stabilize it a little bit. They're just eking out a little bit more time here, Chando, which is all going to be precious when we return the favor. It's a brilliant headshot onto uh, Karidu there by Stingen, and but don't know if they're going to be able to hold this off for too long. They're definitely killing the time, which, uh, as you say, is it's all important. Every second counts. Um, but as the respawns come in and Stingen goes down, that level one is uh, doing damage on the left side times three, and no one can really contest that. And that might do it. Yeah, just, yes, it is exactly. And that's a pretty good time, CJ. I have to restart my uh, my game here so that I can see the time, but uh, I can already tell you it's pretty good. I mean, I can see Clark say blaze it in chat, so I'm going to guess that it's uh, it's going to be 420. Um, and it does, yeah, there we see the pauses, where the pause happened live in game. But yeah, that is a fast time. Uh, it's not the fastest time we've ever seen, but by far. And obviously, if you go for that kind of a AE push, it you can crack it out in, in less than two minutes, one minute 30. So it really depends on what kind of strategy Envision are going to go for here. But the problem I always find when you defend first on steel, if you end up in a situation like this, where the time is kind of short, you limit your options. Because if you do go for that AE push and it goes wrong, and you have to try to go for a B and C and stuff like that, the enemy team can just maneuver themselves to know where you're going you almost predict where they have to go because you're forcing them to have to go to that e point at some point so envision definitely under pressure here on this first round and scck really putting a statement on you know that they know this map and it's not going to be easy for them to be rolled over this week no absolutely not off to a very good start clearly there um it looks like they want to try and go uh into the b point first they're not going to commit overly to an AE straight away that Noz is going to find a nice 2k though onto Menti and Faints there um, and at the same time Sandburn however is going to go down that's one good pick they don't have to worry about that heavy tank and all the damage they're going to find a backstab onto Toast Sting is going to find Yahoo that's another really brilliant pick actually for Envision um, they might be able to start getting a good amount of time or making a good push here Ronnie J in a really odd position here I think he might be trying to bait up the soldier but he's uh uh, Jackie Legs snuffed him out. He knows what's going on there. Ronnie J, not fooling anyone, mate. You are gone. Menti, however, does find two. Uh, taking down Viljack and uh, Kredu. But they really have to get this push going now. Now that Uber's going to come out by STCK. He needs to deal with that sentry, though. They need to deal with something. Dito, he's going to find Burn and Clark, though. So that sentry should be minced pretty quickly. They're going to rotate now up to the balcony here. Sentry is going to go down. They might be able to carry on this dry push. They really have to, because time is a factor with only three minutes, ten seconds left. But it looks like STCK is going to give this up as they lose Noz. I actually really liked what Ronnie J did there. He just kind of barreled his way up there, and you could see Jackie, like, he knew what he wanted to do. He wanted to hold on that top high ground, but he couldn't because that heavy was there. So he popped this conch. The conch really didn't do anything because everyone was just, just kind of chilling. And, you know, that heavy just denied that top spot, and it allowed them to get some decent picks and end up winning that push. So we have equal Ubers here. 
uh, Noz is going to respawn. So basically, 9v9. And it's all about who's going to get the picks here. Stingon is kind of watching B Connector. And this is the moment. You've got two and a half minutes to go. And at this point... Pause? No? Um, at this point, you kind of wait in a situation you think... A mistake here could cost SCCK big time. However, if SCCK get a good pick here, then it puts them in a really, really comfortable position. And it does look like Envision are going for a bit of an E push here. We've got Toast on the point times two. Ronnie J holding this BC connector with a level one sentry. So Nipnob's trying to build that up to a level three. SCCK are coming BC now to try and contest. And um, oh, actually, Ronnie J survives. Actually takes down Zanburn. So no heavy for the defensive side here. The Uber is just being denied by Rez. He's pushing them back. And we see what can happen here. Meanwhile, Chando, times two is just being on E point with no contestant whatsoever. This is absolutely unbelievable. Finally, uh, Sinos is actually going to uh, rotate to under and start getting some damage out onto Toast. He is going to go down with the help of Jackie Legs. Dito is going to clean up uh, Sinos though so now they just need to get someone else to to that point um, I'm not sure who's going to be up for it I suppose in no time Toast will be back up but brilliant step by Viljack onto Tertio Sven goes down as well that could change anything there uh, there's still a long way to go for this E point and with no medic Sprayer with a 30% advantage. Uh, it's going to be a lot harder. Still doable, mind you, as Jackie Legs and Sandburn both go down in that BCE connector. And at this point, times five, I have not even been paying attention. No one can even deal with that. What on earth just happened there, see, Jay? All right, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be sounding like... It's going to sound dumb, okay? But Detoed and Res, I don't know whether they communicated. I don't know whether this was planned. But Toast died. You called it and said there was nobody on the point, right? So Detoed is probably one of the most obvious ones because he can sticky jump over there. He doesn't. He goes over to the east side of spawn, puts stickies down to stop the spawners coming out, and Rez flare jumps over onto the point. Okay? So he gets on the point. The Pyro is getting the cap time, and Detoed is locking the spawners down. That is just perfect steel gameplay. You want somebody watching that area, stopping the spawners coming in. doesn't matter if you've got times 20 on the point. If people come in and start spamming it, you're screwed. But Detoed blocked those spawners out. There were people watching BC. Ronnie J was in BC. It just They were just perfectly positioned. And ACCK, after nearly wiping there with you know about two minutes to go, they just couldn't get them back in because people were blocking their access to the E point. And somehow Envision have gone even faster. I mean, I think they must have done it in about three minutes. I think that must have been about a three-minute time. It was around three minutes, and it was, uh, in all my time of playing Highland and casting it, that, I have to say, is probably one of the cleanest and best uh, steel attacks I think I've ever seen. Um, it was just perfectly executed there. Brilliant push on to B. Fast, effective, and they kept the ball rolling. They committed to E, and the, just the lock-off from Detoed was perfectly timed with Rez and the scouts, and yeah, that just couldn't have gone better. Really big congratulations to Envision for that. They're going to be chuffed as the second round now commences. Rez is going to find that pick onto Jackie Lake. It's going to get down to Sandburn, but uh, it's going to be Envision that quickly take top here. And now that force has already been popped off there. I'm not sure what the what the point of that was. Not they were forced or not, but uh, I really wouldn't have recommended that. But now it's uh, Tertio going to have a hundred percent advantage to work with here, and loads of players are going down for STCK. Oh They've no! Got nothing. They are a four up. Their med hasn't got Uber. They uh, Envision now could just take this for free. Surely, CJ, what has happened to STCK? They they did the same thing they did before. And like, the problem right now is they had no one capping A. They full committed to a B push here. So they're kind of in a weird situation where they have this huge Uber ad and they should be rolling, but they can't because they haven't managed to capture the A point. So SCCK, if they're smart, they can try and contest both points here. But Stingman is winning the sniper fight. Burn goes down again. They got good picks. And Ronnie J, running the Tommy Slav, was able to take down Noz as he was trying to escape. Sting, and he's on fire! Oh my god, he's taking down Noz, he's taking down Yahoo! This guy is just, he top fragged. Look, I just took a cheeky peek at the logs, Chando. He top fragged in the previous round. The manager is on fire right now. If he's not stopped, then this just could just be a roll. But look at Spray, 90% now. And finally, Burn gets some retaliation. A body shot onto Stingan, takes him down. But equal Ubers now, only 126 for those first two points. Probably a lot slower than it could have been if they committed at least one person capping on A. But they're in a decent position here to work their way in and try and get something interesting, Chando, to see if they're going to go for an E push again or whether they decide to try and go for C. Absolutely. In 1 minute 26 to take A and B really isn't anything to grumble about. They maybe made a little mishap by 
maybe not committing enough to A. Um, but at the same time, Faint's going to find that backstab onto Clark there. That's going to leave the sentry pretty vulnerable. Uh, C is just being taken, I believe, for free here as uh, the combo and the scout just... Uh, push their way onto the C point now. No one wants to contest that. Uh, I guess it's a risky move uh, if you, you know, lose your defending combo in the process of trying to capture C there. So they've just given that up. Uh, and really just the SDCK uh, combo now in a bit of a weird position. I guess they've rotated now into White Room, which is uh, probably the best place to hold. They do find Reds, but Stingham's going to get that sh kill onto Burn. Clark's going to go down once again. Sentry is going to be vulnerable. Viljack is going to get the backstab onto Detoed as Faint goes down as well. No demo man now for the attacking team in Vision. And is that another pause? It seems like another pause to me. Um, and right now, it's it's kind of hard for me to pinpoint what exactly is happening. Because I, I can only think that Clark... I didn't see where Clark died when he got backstabbed. I don't know whether he had a sentry on C and because he died, they decided to give up C, but they had absolutely nobody on C. Toast walked through and must have thought, hang on a minute, this is a dream. I could just stand on the point. And then the entire combo came through and you're just giving them so much space. A really weird decision, especially when they had Uber. C can actually be held pretty well and it's possible to rotate and defend E at the same point from the BC connector. So maybe SCCK didn't want to get pushed like they did in the first round because they were holding on C. And you remember Rez and uh, Ronnie J, they were blocking that BC connector with their Uber and it allowed um, Envision to get so much time on the E point. So maybe they're thinking, we don't want to get AE pushed again. We don't want to get you know, totally collapsed upon. So they decided to just give up C and go for A and E. But right now, it looks like they're not in a great position to defend it at all because we see Menti is on the point here. He's got Toast for Company and the combo for SCCK is in White Room trying to defend it. But behind them is Tercio and Ronnie J. So <laughs> this could either go pretty well for them. They could clean house or they could get sandwiched, fragged, and they could just lose the point very quickly. So they're just giving away some cheap picks here at the moment and Envision are taking full advantage of that. Absolutely. I mean, we got to... Look at this deep as well. Um, I'm pretty sure it's half capped at the moment or something. Um, and it's in a good position. If they can hold on to that D point, lock off those spawn doors, uh, once again, you're going to be looking at a very isolated defending team. Uh, they are still lacking their NG and their sniper and their soldier, and they're all really important classes. Um, so this fight could go in favor of Envision, and it is going to be great for them if, if it works out. They are in a great position at the moment for this game. Let's not forget who is higher seeded at the moment you know who is predicted to be um taking these victories and it's sdck they're pretty much the favorites more or less maybe um slightly contested with failure at the moment but for the most part they're one of the favorites and they have just suffered a humiliating defeat um in this first round um they must be pretty you know crushed morale speaking um and you know, on the contrary, Envision are going to be so elated. They're going to be keeping that sort of spirit going. And it's looking so good for them at the moment here. And, you know, what do you think, CJ, that SDCK can do to reclaim this? They can still get some points back. Um, it's not uh, lost for them yet. They can still, you know, play their cards right and come out on top in a 4-2 victory. What do you think they need to do to secure that? I think they need to really look at why they're losing these points because so far there hasn't been a point that they've actually held. You know, when you take a look at, uh, you know, the first round and this round, they've been on the B point and they've been overwhelmed very, very easily. You know, they've not held the top area. They've lost Sandburn in that top area. They've lost players. They've lost Clark very earlier on um, in both times. We've taken a look at now as we are on pause. The Ubers are used here, I believe. Um, as Tercy is trying to get away in BC Connector. Actually, no, he still has his Uber. Um, and they've lost a few players here. So the D point not quite capped. And SCCK is starting to maybe st stabilize a little bit here. They have control of White Room. Um, but there is an Uber advantage for Tercio. Still has that 100% compared to Spray. He had to use his. And, you know, this is where they can start to just, you know, okay, where are we going to push from? Where can we make this Uber most effective and uh, get the most value out of it? And looks like they're going to try and take this to the, the A point um, and try to bust in through White Room as we do get some time on either. Uber's used very, very early. Jackie Legs and Yahoo have both gone down here. There is a level 3 sentry being wrangled by Clark. He's going to go down. 
Um, nobody on the E point at the moment, and this is where things start to get a little bit messy if you start to split up your forces and try to cap both points at the same time, because Sprayer does have Uber out now. Absolutely, yeah. Uh, they maybe wanted to think about popping off a little bit later there. I guess there was a sticky trap in place, but it just gave STCK um, loads of time to just back out of White Room, rotate round from D with that Uber. Um, and it's really worked in their favor as Rez and Nipnop and Toast all go down. Uh, Menti are going to follow uh, along with the uh, Nipnop sentry there. So uh, at this point, they've got an opportunity. They've been given uh, a really good uh, situation here to set up and finally start um, killing some of the time here because. Uh, it hasn't started off very well for them and uh, now they're gonna be having uh, that uber advantage Tertia did go down in that engagement spray and now gonna have about a 40% add to work with uh, so they can start to relax a little bit they just can't make any uh, blunders here but Dito's gonna be playing it pretty ambitious there as he just runs the point and the rest of his team are gonna follow now they're just gonna pile onto the point there times five and uh, as Sandburn goes down that's a brilliant first pick by Sting and, and this actually could work for them CJ yeah, they're losing some players though. They've got a lot of cap time on the E point, but if this Uber comes in from SCCK, they can block it and they can win this. They're getting sandwiched right now. Like I said, no one's blocking the spawns like they did in that first round. The Uber comes out onto Yahoo and he's going to get the frag onto Rez. He's going to go for the chase, get some more damage and pushes them away. Tercio did survive that 80% now. So, you know, he, he died earlier on. Um, when Sprayer had that ad, and he's just going to respawn anyway because of how fast the respawns are once you have those three points. Jackie, nice rockets there to take down Nipnop, and the Uber is used onto Toast, and they're going to try to get onto Yahoo here, but he's just denying this so well. Uh, they have to get some cap time now, and this is where SCCK can start to, you know, maybe just wait for their respawns and then contest as Envision are just splitting up here. They've got times three on the E point, times four now. And they've got some people on the D point as well, just as a distraction. ACC have to realize what they're going to go for. Yahoo goes down. Noz is very weak. He gets backstabbed by Faint. This could be it as uh, Credu just barges in trying to get something down. But that mini sentry is going to be enough. Clark gets headshot by Sting. And, and finally, that is a slightly longer time here by Envision. But they do capture the E point eventually. And, you know, 547, that's what? A minute and a half longer? than we saw in that first round, Jando. So SCCK are probably thinking, okay, let's just chill out a bit now. We had a better defense. We've got more time to work with. Just do what we did earlier and we win the round. But uh, there's still going to be that little bit of pressure in the back of their minds. Absolutely. It wasn't the best defense. It's still definitely manageable considering their previous performance. I think it was, yeah, it was 4 minute 20. Um, so... I mean, they do have a good shot if they can replicate what they did um, in the last round here. But yeah, as you say, and you're completely right, there is still that looming um, pressure for them because it's not the best defense. Um, and likewise, um, it only takes a few blunders on the attacking side for that 5 minutes 40 to just be a complete panic. Um, the real question for them now is how do they want to approach it? They had a very good ABC the strategy last time are they going to replicate that are they going to try and maybe go for like an ae gimmick uh, we'll have to see as these doors go open now uh, you've got menti here um on the defense in a cool position here up above that light um as Stan finds the first pick onto Sinos there brilliant opening pick menti's going to drop down and find uh, burn he finds jackie legs as well yahoo goes down too this is brilliant now um for the defending team there that was uh, wiping out quite a few of the players as sambo goes down as well so well defended thus far um definitely a lot better uh, than the uh, first round of suicide waves yeah i mean absolutely to, to have everyone on your team survive that suicide wave is you know pretty good but take a look at where sprayer is right now with the rest of his team they are on a and actually faint goes in there he goes for the face tab onto spray doesn't get the kill but that intel is going to be absolutely valuable if he gives it to his team he's going to say hey they're all going to white room they're going for an ae push and now uh, there's the headshot from sting and huge play takes down nods no demo it's going to be very difficult for them to hold this yahoo is going to have to do so much work here the uber is used that sentry is trying to push them away. Rezzy says he's going to puff him. Oh, he almost goes into the pit there, but he just about survives. And that is an absolutely awful attempt at the AE push. I was going to call it earlier that SCC were going to try it. You know, in the past, they were so good at going for AE, but maybe, you know, having Credu playing, having uh, Noz playing, maybe slightly different players. Um, Maybe they're not used to it, but they are trying it here and they're still going for it. So they just need some people onto the point here and they need to get rid of Tercio's Uber because at the moment they're in a really good position just to defend this point. And wow, the 
the volleyball there from Rezan Yahoo's trading those sentry rockets. Splitter goes down to faint with the stab. I didn't think that was a drop, but he just comes in and shanks him in the face. And uh, Medic down. Tursi is still alive, nice and safe. Um, they have lost a few players here, Chando. They are four down. Um, but I'd say they're feeling kind of partially comfortable at the moment. Absolutely. Uh, Envision really um, just killing the time here. Only three minutes 40. The pressure really is on now for SCCK. They've had a shot at that AE. They've realized it isn't going to work. Uh, but the longer that they wait, uh, the more time that they're going to have to just go, all right, we got to commit to AE now. And then the easier it is for Envision just to solely focus on defending E there. But they've been flanked a little bit there. The Uber gets popped off as, uh, as I think that was Rez along with uh, Sinos there just barge in through BCE and get the force from Tertio. And actually, a level three has been set up. Um, and providing that they can defend the point, Envision still has a good shot of this. They've got that level one uh, in the works of being set up. Um, they've just got to sort of push in from BCE here and uh, do their best to... Um, get those players off the point there. They're not doing a very good job at it though as Dito goes down. Rez as well uh, uh, as Yahoo and Samba and just really just plowing forward there as they take down uh, Nipnop as well. Yahoo on that 3k with the shoddy. Now the time's fours in and the pressure's on for Envision there. It's Burn gets the frag on to Menti and Tertio gets backstabbed by Viljack and it is looking really good for SDCK here. Um, there's almost no um, contest at the moment as uh, they just slip this uh, E point into their possession. Any second now. <laughs> just just wait and we just there watch. We, we, we know it's going to happen. There's nothing that can be done to stop it. And that is 1-1 one, one now as STCK um, equalize things up here. And it, it was looking a little bit, kind of a little bit hairy for a second there. But like I said, when you've got more time to play with, you can take slightly more risks at the start. And STCK decided to go for that. Go for that AE push, which they were so well known for um, back in their heyday. And it didn't work out great to begin with. But the thing is... Um, Envision, I, I think they did the right thing. They didn't try to get aggressive with their Uber. They had this Uber. Sprayer was, you know, he'd used his and then he died. And they still have this huge ad. Using it aggressively is a mistake because if you don't get everything killed, then you know, you're now at an Uber disad trying to defend E point. So they, they did the right thing, but the problem is they didn't clear things out. They didn't, you know, clear out Sandburn or Jackie Legs who were just trying to hold that BC door. They didn't clear out Clark who'd set up a level three that was just wrangling up in the top there. So at that point, SCCK, all they had to do was wait and play the waiting game. Just get people on point. Slowly but surely, they're going to they're gonna get people cap timing. They're going to have people just coming into the Ubers to defend the defensive Uber. And in the end, it just worked out. So it'll be interesting to see. They have decided because it's, you know, the team that picks uh the team that picks is the team that had the faster time so i think scck chose to attack first so this is a repeat of what we see in the first and the second round no first round but anyway we're going to be seeing scck in the blue uh envision in the red and you know whoever wins this round is going to take home the lion's share of the points at the moment both teams are guaranteed two but who is going to get those extra two which could be invaluable points we'll be finding out and chando again we're just seeing the same kind of suicide wave here from scck as Dito gets two that was a saucy little sticky trap there and uh, that is going to make the suicide wave all that harder uh, and it's going to be Menti is the only casualty from Envision there um, they, they have retained their balcony Ronnie J just chilling up there with the heavy weapons guy and yeah I mean that wasn't uh, the best suicide wave there losing Menti didn't really mean that much as the respawn comes in they're going to take level uh, they're going to take the A points now will they go for a level uh, and an AE push there my bet is yes they got that level 3 set up there and uh, that could be pretty useful uh yeah then in no rush to rotate back to b side here they want to carry on with this ae works so well for them more or less in the uh in the previous round they just kind of make their way in to the white room now detoed finds uh credo which is a really good pick actually that's going to slow down um their uh, e cap time there is uh, the scout probably one of the most mobile and accessible uh, classes to get onto that e point in the early stages there Sinos with a nice quick double onto menti and toast very nicely done and now they've just all kind of done a good job of rotating uh into where are they going actually i'm, I'm really confused there although oh wow that was a nice try there by faint um coincidence really that 
Uh, Sprayer popped off just in time, but he did get the backstab onto uh, uh, Sandburn. Clark going to go down as well. Fain going to find Yahoo. Quick 2k there. Very nicely defended by him. Uh, and it looks like on the other side, B was suffering a bit, but... Uh, I guess they're just going to give it up there as the flank just kind of dominates that Jackie Legs and uh, Kredu just pumping out the uh, pumping out the time there. But they're now taking the spam as DJ runs forward. <laughs> did you forward see the whip? There. Sorry what? to interrupt, no, I did not. Menti oh whip sprayer. Um, he gets the old whip out and gets the medic frag. So things are looking pretty good for Envision at the moment. Um, I say that as uh, Sap tries to come in there uh, to take down the sentry. But no, it's, uh, it's not enough. And yeah, I mean, Envision trying to do the same as they did last time, it's just working out better. The problem is they still got a, a sentry, level 3 up there, as Menti, actually Menti and Toast combined to take down Clark, so that sentry's gone now. There is a teleporter up there as well, but um, Sandburn goes down, so if that teleporter goes down, they've kind of lost all of the, the resources they've plunged into this E-push here. Um, and it'd be interesting to see how it goes, as Jackie does start to get some damage, takes down Toast, um, but Menti in turn takes him down. So a little bit messy right now, Chando, but that's going to play into Envision's hands. They're, they're happy as the longer time it takes. Oh, absolutely. Uh, the one uh, problem they encounter, Tertio, uh, having a force off his Uber there, it's going to give Sprayer about a 30% add um, to work with as I speak too soon, though. Sting and finds a hedge onto Sprayer. Brilliant timing by him. Once again, Tertio is going to be sitting comfortably with the Uber advantage. They've got to make these, and they're making these really snap quick rotations um, between B and E. It's working really well from D. Tony is just hot on his heels um, to rotate as uh, on the E side, Ascend, Yahoo, Sandburn all going down back to back. Just got to deal with that level one by Clark. It's going to be Menti that spams it out and uh, Faint finds the backstab onto the engineer himself. Now they're going to sit comfortably and they are killing this time at the minute. Um, SDCK, they can't commit to an, a, uh, to an AE push. They can't even commit to an a B push in the minute here. Although Jack finds two. Now they're starting to pile in on the B side. As Sinos does go down, but so does Menti, so does Faint. Um, and this might be a little bit harder for Vision to hold on to B at this point now. Oh, maybe not, though. Maybe I not. mean, they've used their Uber. They used Uber to try and clear out everybody, and they've just gone for this kind of let's just go in and frag as many people as we can kind of strat. It's worked out well for them for the time being, but it does mean now that Sprayer has his Uber advantage. He got out alive, 40% uh, add there. Nos goes down to another sticky drop from Dieter. Where is he putting these stickies? They're just so effective. And it's going to buy a little bit more time. It might be enough time for Tosi to get the Uber. I think, I do think SCTK at this point are kind of giving up on the AE push. No, they're not. They're rotating. They're going for the AE push now with the Uber ad. And I don't know if anyone's called that. There's nobody over there. They are rotating now a little bit slower though, Chando. So this could work out well for SCCK. They have about a 15% ad. I'm not sure if they realize how small the ad is now. They have control of white room, but you take a look at the, the cap points. There is no time on B or E. It's all degraded back down to zero. Toast and Menti are trying to block off this uh, push. And uh, Stinghan and Toast do get fragged. Sprayer, all just curves around there. They're coming around onto BC. This could be a really good push in. They've used the Uber, but it's retaliated. Rez comes in, just trying to air blast people away. Yahoo, trying to make him ineffective. Sprayer has to run away, but there is a level three, level two actually. And they started to get fragged. Three alive here for Envision. This could be an E cap now, Chando. It's definitely possible here. A sentry goes down, so does Nibnob, so does Tertio as well. Jackie Leg just following up on the damage. Nicely done there. Toast gonna fall as well. And he four up now. And yeah, this E push could be very, uh, very made possible here uh, by that really uh, well played push. It was a little late and it was a little indecisive mess TC. They definitely could have committed that a little bit sooner. Spent a little bit of time just not really sure where they wanted to uh, go, but it's finally working as uh, they're just locking down all the spawns. Sinos and Yahoo are going to go down though, so there might be an opportunity here just to sort of push in and just kill a little bit more time. Uh, they find Jackie Legs, they find Burn as well. And Rez, what is that man making up there? He takes down Sam, but Spray of Clark all going to go down with Phil Jack, and they just got to deal with that scout as a scent. Uh, uh, Creative of a sense. Sorry, he's gonna. He's the last one who can try and get that point. He's getting spammed out now. And Yahoo in White Room is kind of by himself here, and he's gonna get locked off. And this is a really good opportunity for Envision to kill some more time. I. I okay, so there's a chain of events there. Jackie and Credu almost had that done. They almost had the point just done and capped. And there was just so much spam from Menti, just spamming rockets constantly at the point. Toast launches himself at the point to get the frag on Jackie, costs him his life. And then Rez just comes in and decides to set everybody on fire. 
Clark manages to surf, I don't know if it was a rocket or an air blast, he surfs it onto the point, but he's on fire. He dies, and somehow SCCK still haven't captured the E-point. Six minutes and 34 seconds, and SCCK finally have captured more than one point. They've got the B-point, maybe a little bit of momentum now. Tercio does have the Uber, but Spray is at 75%, and if they get a bit, get the ball rolling here, Chando, they could finally start to get some more points here. They're on to C already, but I think Envision are just saying, screw it, we are holding White Room. We're going to hold the uh, the final point and just try to get some more time here. Yeah, I think that's a really good call there. You know, White Room, sort of the final bastion of a steel defense, um, and you don't want to jeopardize it. It's such a strong position to hold, um, and they're already off to a good time here. Seven minutes, three in D&E, haven't even been touched yet by SDCK. Um, so, it's uh, yeah, it's a pretty decent start here. They do lose Rez, they lose uh, Toast as well. That Uber's going to get popped off just in time. Faith, they're almost on the backstab onto Sinoz. Um, Ronnie J gun to pick up Viljack. Someone's going to have to deal with uh, with the aggression onto the E-point now, and uh, they do pop off their Ubers, but Ronnie J gets caught out, finds burn, but loses his life in the process. They get Jackie Legs as well here, um, and they may have to commit to a little dry push here. Um, they're just letting them walk onto the point. So they did lose uh, Ronnie J, but the rest of their team are up. There's no reason why they can't try and fight this. And um, finally, Dito comes in, finds Greedy. Viljack goes down as well. Uh, Burn goes down as well. There's a huge picks. Yahoo follows. These are the frags they need. They've just got to deal with Sam Burn now and uh, Sinos. And they, they're taking spam. Menti doing a good job at spamming. Um, and they are doing a pretty good job at just sort of like denying this point. Um, they can't stop the inevitable, but uh, they're off to a good time already. And I guess at this point, they're just trying to take every... Oh, my Lord. Sting and going to find Sprayer. This is uh, exactly what they need now to get even more time onto this defense there as Sandburn goes down. Ronnie J follows. Uh, someone's got to deal with Credo. He's so weak. No one can deal with him. They are finding these frags despite not having their medic there. Now that Uber's going to come out onto Rez, he's just going to walk forward and try and deny them getting onto that point there. Someone's got to deal with Jackie Legs though as uh, he goes into times two, times six. And there we go. 8 minutes 44, man, that's not what you'd want to see if you were playing for SDCK at the moment, though. Uh, no, that's by far the fastest time, um, sorry, not fastest, the longest time we've seen so far today. I mean, the first one was, what, 420? Then we had 547, something like that. Um, so, I mean, again, you know, they're going to be looking same kind of mindset as SDCK had in the second round. Envision now will be looking at themselves and saying, hey, as long as we push in the same kind of time as we did in the previous two rounds, then we've won the game. Like, it, it doesn't matter. We just need to do the same. We do no, just need to not beef this and do what we've done twice already. Um, I just think it was very difficult to pinpoint what was going wrong there. I felt for SDCK, they were losing players. They were committed to the e-push for such a long time that it just wasn't working and then when it looked like they were going to rotate over to B that failed Envision were just rotating and just countering every time and I guess SCK weren't getting the picks and when you've only got the A point your your spawns aren't that fast yet your spawns get faster on steel with the more points you have to the point where on when you've got the C point your spawns on attack are instant as Noz does the same as Detoed and just gets a casual 2k with a sticky trap but yeah when you've only got that A point SCK were struggling to make the pick advantage count I'm going to have to see what uh, Envision decide to do here, whether they're going to try and go for an AES, they've got a lot of time to work with, or whether they're just going to stick with what they've been doing and, and kind of just play it by ear. As we see Toast and Nipnop just capping that A point, and it looks like they're just going to come in for an exchange here on B. Burn goes down, Sting and dominating him there. So no sniper for the defense. Jackie Exit Hawks has gone down. There's no control over the top anymore. Clark has to wrangle. He managed to take down Ronnie J. That's a lot of HP off of the battlefield here. Faint comes in, goes for the sap. Clark goes down again very early on in the fight. Rez has died, but manages to take down Noz with the reflex pipe. I'm not sure who's winning this, but it does look like... Dito! Dito! He's in behind! Oh my Faint lord. gets the credit for the frag, but that was all Dito. I didn't even know he went that far behind. But, uh, okay, now I know who's won that. With seven players dead, SCCK are not looking in good health right now. Tercio alive is going to have a nice, meaty uber advantage here, Chando. And this could be a very fast time if SC um, SCCK must go to White Room and just try to consolidate something here. Yeah, this could be it. And uh, Detoed, after that, deserves man of the match there. Uh, just the end of that Uber exchange, it wasn't looking too great for Envision. He 
rocket uh, a sticky jumped forward and just went into the back lines no one really paid attention to him uh managed to with the help of faint just get that frag onto the medic and then the rest of the invasion just kind of pushed forward and cleaned up in a in a post uber dry push uh dito is also going to find viljack now and he's going to continue the fight into c there and uh, as you predicted stck just aren't even going to try holding on to c um that's the that's the best bet uh, stick to white room it's the safest bet um for them now six minutes 50 seconds left so seven minutes pretty much here and um still with a big uber advantage uh, for tertio they could definitely do this they're just going to storm straight on to uh d now um it's a pop a, a conscious going to get popped off there um but it's not going to be much good jackie legs tries to retreat finally uh, it's going to go down there all the very close by uh, Viljack almost gets the stab onto Tertio. He's going to pop up his Uber in time with Rez. He's a nice reflect onto Cenos. They're going to deal with that sentry as well. Uber gets popped off. They have to back out, but they're getting such good time on D. Yeah, the sentry's still alive there. Clark's gets up. Faint comes in for the sap. It's going to get unsapped by Clark, so that level 3 is still alive, but it's not going to be any use defending D. It's all about E now. This is equal Ubers. Every frag that Envision get now is going to give a nearly 30 second respawn for SCCK. A sprayer goes down! He only, he's in the respawn for 15, but the sentry's also gone down. Everyone for Envision are on the point right now. They're getting spammed really, really hard. Jackie Legs is just a one-man army trying his best to block these people from the point. Manages to take down Toast. A lot of frags coming in. But the respawns for Envision are coming in faster. A lot of people dead for SCCK. I think this might be it, Chando. With five and a half minutes left to go on the clock, Envision have sealed the third round. Dito just jumps into the bit for good measure. And that is going to be Envision taking it four to two over SCCK. Two weeks in a row, a surprise. I mean, did you see this scoreline coming? You said that it was going to be a four two, but did you think Envision would take it in that kind of fashion? Absolutely not. And I got to say, this is one of the most exciting uh, matches of Steel I think I've ever seen in my uh, casting career. Um, I mean, I was saying to you before we went live, uh, Steel is not particularly a map that I am overly fond of of playing or casting. Um, can be a little confusing at times, but this has really restored my faith in this map. I am now a big believer of this marmite map that is cp steel and yeah i mean what a match i did not expect envision to uh to actually take that as i said yeah i was thinking it'd be a 4-2 there i thought you know envision they've got good players um they've clearly got a, a decent strategy they've got good synergy and um likewise scck that despite having some really good players i kind of had the feeling that a few of them might have been a little bit rusty still um so but for it to have gone in favor of, of Envision and on that last round for it to have gone in favor of them uh, so decisively has really shocked me and it has been a joy to watch and cast. Absolutely. I mean, coming into this, uh, you know, the people were talking about the upset last week where Kitty managed to beat SCTK sort of 3-0, 3-0. Big shock, big shock. No one expected that to happen at all, I don't think, especially without SCC getting around. But a lot of excuses were coming in. You know, Yahoo wasn't playing, who's, you know, a big part of the way that they play. Um, you know, they didn't have Sprayer playing. They had Spelly on, on Scout, who's not a, not, not a main Scout, things like that. A lot, of, a lot of kind of things being said. So a lot of people were saying, OK, you know, they didn't have full roster. But coming in here, this is much closer to a full roster. I would say, OK, Viljack's coming in as Merc, but he's a very good spy. You know, he's a, he's a you know, former spy. Well, he's MVP of last season. So, you know, he's a pretty good player. Um, and still, like, I thought looking at this map, Steel was one of SCCK's best maps. I always remember from playing against them um, that they were very good at going for that AE push. They would just have everything on lockdown and they were very good and fast with the rotations. It just seemed that Envision were just one step ahead of them at each point, you know, and defensively, they didn't get caught out. They didn't get caught into any of the traps that you know often happens we're going to take a look at some logs though as we haven't had a time um because we've just been we've just been casting chando every round has just started which is how we should play games you know don't don't have breaks in between you need the toilet hold it in absolutely just, uh, back and forth on. action uh, it's, but do you want to see do you want to see who's top fragging chando from oh, across I know the three maps i can I, I don't have to look at the logs to tell you who's top fragging it's yeah. manager of the season isn't it manager it's of the season him. 38 for 15 um I, sniper is not a, a, uh, a class that traditionally you think, oh yeah, steel, that's the sniper's favorite map. But Singen definitely turned up today, um, you know, in 40 minutes. That's including pauses as well, let's not forget. So he's getting pretty much a kill a minute there with the 38 kills. 
um, out sniping Burn um, by quite a way, getting 13 sniper kills compared to Burn's one. So Stingen really dominating in this match. Jackie Legs doing the best that he could. 35 frags, top fragging for SCCK there. But then you, the next three players are all from Envision, detailed on 30. Ronnie J, 28. Toast on 25. Yahoo, again, doing the best he could for his team. 23 for 25. Um, so, I mean, kind of the classes you expect to see, perhaps. You know, Soldiers and, and Pyro, you know, getting the decent frags there. The damage detailed getting you know 356 um highest on the server. When you consider Stinghan is the third highest damage there, he's gotta go for the MVP of this match today. Um without a doubt. I mean he was getting I, I didn't remember him getting huge med picks. I think he got a couple perhaps, but he just seemed to be consistently fragging. And especially when they were pushing that B point, they were getting early frags onto a lot of people, and that just really helped them today. Um, yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll go. I'll go one step further. He, um, he actually got the most med picks uh, of any player. Um, so I think, I mean, I mean, a lot of them were body shots, and a lot of them were kind of maybe you could argue were slightly cheap plays. But what does it matter? You know, med picks are med picks. So um, he thoroughly deserves MVP. I'd agree that you know one other point to make. He actually had the least amount of deaths well for a damage dealer uh joints with clark and uh nip -nop. so joint with the engineers and obviously not including the medics he actually had the least amount of deaths so where obviously when you are you know such a, a, a high priority to be uh, fragged by the enemy team um to only die 15 times and to pump out 38 frags is pretty phenomenal you know he got 13 frags against burn um burn got one so, like, I think that pretty much kind of sums it up. He really fragged there. Um, very mm. nicely done, though, to him. Very nicely done to his team. Um, I think, for the most part, you know, we can we can look at logs um, as much as we want, CJ. But uh, when it comes to down to a map like Steel, it's all about the teamwork. And that is what really pushed them to uh, secure the majority of those points there as they take away 4-2. Absolutely. So, sort of two upsets in a row here. Um, SCCK coming into the season as probably the favourites alongside Fela to contest for that title have now lost two games against teams that they would probably not expect to lose to. And we have two more match days to go. We have week four and week five. So we'll be covering those matches as we can. Any last words, any shout outs before we disappear, Chando? Well, no, just just a big shout out really to the viewers for coming by and checking us out. Um, it really does mean a lot to us. And uh, thank you to the teams. Thank you to Weir Hooft as well, uh, behind the scenes on productions, doing a great job as usual. Um, but other than that, no, it's been it's been a great game. And thank you, CJ, for uh, sharing the pleasure of this cast. Absolutely. It's been great to be to be back in the in the hot seat with you, Chando. I hope we can continue. I hope your work clears up so you'll have more time to uh, to talk over games with me. And also thanks to V Hooft for throwing this together as always in the background, sorting things out. Like I said, we'll have more action for you in the future as the season continues. Two more weeks followed by playoffs. Who are the teams? I, I literally don't know. I, I couldn't tell you. All I can say is I know Fader is still first, but after that, I have no idea who is going to be potentially joining them in the playoffs so far so hopefully we can cast as many games as we can so you guys get every single piece of the action thank you for watching we've been chris cast myself cj chando and v hooved this was super dickman's canonan losing 4-2 to envision on cp steel we'll see you next time hi old beaver away